Hi, welcome to Informatica video QB session. My name is Nagaraja Rao, working for Informatica Global Customer Support. In this session, I am going to talk about the importance of a, a repository connection file which is pmrep.cnx. The agenda of the discussion is what is pmrep.cnx file, how the pmrep interacts with a pmrep.cnx file. Is pmrep.cnx file gets overwritten when multiple users working simultaneously and also what is the environment variable called inforepcnx underscore info. When we connect to the repository using command line based program pmrep then uh, as in when we connect there is a file gets generated in the directory from where we executed the pmrep command. That file is called pmrep.cnx which is a binary file. It stores the in repository connection information like the name of the repository, the domain where the repository is configured and also the username and password. Let me show you how it gets created and what is the use of it. Currently I am in the path SQL Informatica 910 server bin where the PMREP executable exists. Now I use the PMREP executable and connect to my repository which is configured in my domain. When I use the pmrep connect command to connect to my repository, the pmrep.cnx file gets created in the same directory from where I executed the pmrep uh, connect, com connect command. ls minus lrt pmrep.cnx gives the details of it. Now, this pmrep.cnx file will get used for the subsequent connections that are going to made uh, from the uh, uh, from the same session from the same pmrep uh, uh, command uh, pmrep uh, has to reconnect to the repository each time when we execute uh, any pmrep command suppose if you are executing the pmrep list folders or pmrep list user connections or any pmrep command when we execute it uh, 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 fetches the information from the uh, repository connection file which is pmrep.cnx and then tries to connect to the uh, repository then uh, and sends a uh, request to the repository agent to get the details so that it uh, needs uh, the pmrep.cnx file to connect to the repository every time. It uses the information which is stored in the pmrep.cnx file. If uh, suppose multiple users are uh, uh, working on the pmrep command simultaneously then the pmrep.cnx file gets uh, work written. In my environment currently I have two repositories with 901 dupe and 901 rep. In 901 dupe I have a folder called abcd and in 901 rep also I have a folder called abcd. Now one, one user as a user I, I connected to the 901 rep repository and I want to delete the folder abcd from the 901 rep repository. Meanwhile, other user also using the same pmrep command and he also trying to connect to the 901 other repository called 901 dup. Now, when he connects, when he connects uh, to the repository 901 dup, 901 dup automatically the pmrep.cnx file in the same location gets overwritten with the uh, repository details that are uh, uh, related to the 901 dup when the file gets overwritten and uh, uh, late, uh, this file now latestly uh, uh, contains the information of the 901 dup repository the user who is working with 901 rep wants to execute uh, the delete folder command uh, and he wants to delete the folder abcd from 901 rep repository now when he execute because uh, when he execute this command the pmrep program uh, 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 fetches the reads the information from the pmrep.cnx file and tries to connect to the repository and execute the command called delete folder now because the pmrep.cnx file is overwritten with the 
other user who connected to the 901 dupe this command sends to the 901 dupe repository agent and then the command is executed in the 901 dupe repository that we can see here basically he connect initially he connected to the 901 rep repository 901 rep repository and he wants to execute the command in 901 rep repository because of the pm rep.cnx file gets overwritten then uh, it uh, uh, the next command which is delete folder executed in the 901 dupe repository uh, the, uh, so that if we want to avoid that uh, 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 avoid such type of issues we need to make sure that uh, uh, no other user uh, is uh, uh, working on the same pm rep command simultaneously which is not possible so for that uh, we have uh, we have environment variable info rep uh, uh, in, info rep cnx info which can be used to prevent this disruption and also when we execute the pmrep dot uh, pmrep connect command the pmrep dot cnx file it gets generated from where the pmrep is executed not always in the server bin i will show you how it works now suppose i am uh, going back one directory and executing the uh, ls minus lrt pmrep dot cnx file which is no more available here now i go and execute the pmrep connect method from here and the pmrep.cnx file will gets generated in the current directory from where the pmrep uh, command is gets executed that we can see that we can see now pmrep.cnx file is generated just now now coming to the disruption that was happened uh, because of multiple users uh, working simultaneously with the same pmrep command uh, we can avoid that using infrep cnx info environment variable we can use this variable we can set this variable uh, to the file path and uh, file name uh, of where the repository connection file needs to be created uh, i can uh, which is used to prevent the script from overwriting each user can set this variable uh, to his uh, home directory so that other users cannot uh, able to access the same now i have a uh, my home directory is info user now i will set this variable to my uh, lo uh, home directory where where the pmrep.cnx file needs to be generated now once after set this variable i can i can show you info rep uh, cnx file info is uh, pointing to my home directory where the pmrep.cnx file is exist now when i when i when i use this uh, uh, environment variable from now from then onwards uh, whenever i connect use my uh, pmrep connect command or any any pmrep command the pmrep.cnx file which gets generated in my home directory now i have to i have to i have to use uh, i have to get into the uh, i have to get into the bin and then needs to be executed from there the pmrep connect command once i executed now when i show uh, when i i can i can show you where the I can show you whether the pmrep.cnx is created in my home directory or not. Once it creates it, then it can be used for the subsequent usage of the pmrep command. Same same connection file will be used for the pmrep command. We can see demo underscore pmrep.cnx is gets gets created just now so that we can prevent the destruction that will happen um, uh, while working with the uh, multiple users uh, simultaneously uh, if you have any questions regarding this session please send a mail to support videos at informatica.com
Thank you.